how to rig a slip bobber, one-on-one. Here we go. First, take your bobber stop. That thread's coming off the end here. It's basically a piece of uh, nylon string, let's call it, around a piece of straw. You take that piece of straw and run your line through it. And now your bobber stops on the line. Pull it up the line. As far as you want to go. Now, take this bobber stop and you pull it off the end up toward the rod. Pull the straw at the bottom. That leaves your bobber stop. Pull your bobber stop till it's snug. Tighten it up. Remove your piece of straw. Gone. All right, so now I've got this bobber stop on my line. Now we want to cut the tag ends off. Okay, so there's my bobber stop. Next, I need a bead. So this bead prevents your bobber stop from sliding through the bobber. Okay, so slide that bead on. Now I got a bead on my line, a little small bead. Next is my thill bobber. Make sure you get the ones with the grommet in the top. They're a lot more durable. Slide that on. Okay. Now I want a swivel. A little small barrel swivel. A leader, which you can use whatever you want, but I like fluorocarbon. This is a fluorocarbon that I use. I, see, I use this for steelhead as well. Works really, really well. Um, it's expensive, but it's the best that I've found. So, for what it's worth, that's the stuff I use. Tie on my leader. And then my hook. Now I need a couple shot. Nothing real big. Pinch those on the line above my leader. My main line's just eight pound test. Leader's six pound. Ow. Don't tell my dentist I did that. Okay, that's it. That is one deadly walleye rig. You can see the bobber just slides up and down the line until it hits the stop. The weights pull it down, and your bait is suspended at whatever level you want.